Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today for this video I figure we're going to do a Q&A. It's been a long time since I've done one of these and I have a few new subscribers so welcome. Thank you for sticking around. Speaking of, if this is your first time seeing my face, feel free to hit the subscribe button to be notified anytime I post a new video. I figured a Q&A would be a really good video for you guys to get to know me a little bit better. I guess let's just jump right in. So a lot of these questions I got from Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, I would love if you did. My handle is at Tiffany Griffith M. Um, but anytime I do with these videos, I will ask over on my Instagram for questions. So if you want to ask a question for the next one, be sure to follow me over there. Starting with the first question that I received was how many countries have you been to? And I have been to Technically three, but two. So I'm from Canada. I've been to the States many times and I've been to Mexico. The next question was, what is your biggest fear? And I have two answers for this question. I have one that's like kind of surface level fear and then I have another one that's a deeper fear. So starting with the surface level fear, I am terrified of clowns. Absolutely terrified. I've never seen the movie It. I don't plan on seeing the movie It. I am terrified of clowns. I will literally cry if I see a clown. So there's that fear. Another big fear that I have honestly is not achieving your potential. I don't know if that makes sense to anybody else, but not reaching your potential really scares me. As an athlete, you have coaches and you have people saying that you have a lot of potential. It scares me because as much as it's a compliment and I appreciate it so much, I am terrified of not reaching that potential. I do have a fear of not achieving my potential. This one is, what is your hidden talent? Um, I don't know. <laughs> I think my hidden talent, from you guys at least on YouTube here, is I can make this like mouth noise popping thing. It's like... I guess that's a hidden talent. <laughs> I gotta show everybody, but I haven't shown you guys, so I guess it's a hidden talent from you until right now. What is my favorite color? So, my favorite color technically isn't a color, but my favorite is white. I don't know why, I've always just been drawn to the color white. Um, that's my favorite color. If I had to pick a second one, it's like a pastel yellow. How tall are you and how old are you? So I am 24 years old. And I am five foot four. I'm okay with it because Betty White and Kevin Hart were all the same height. Rest in peace, Betty White. I'm also the biggest Betty White fan. I don't know if I've told you guys this, but I guess that's something else I'll throw into this Q&A. I am a huge Betty White fan. So her passing away was super sad, but I love Betty White. And the last question is a very interesting question and I put this in here for myself because I've been on a self-awareness journey, a journey of being more confident in myself, loving myself, and so I put this question in here to really think about that and the question is what is your favorite thing about yourself? So if you're watching this video right now I would love for you to comment down below what your favorite thing about yourself is because I feel like this is something we could do together. I think my favorite thing about myself is both a good and a bad thing, or it can be, um, but I'm a very empathetic person, so I care very deeply for other people. Um, I feel their emotion very strongly, and sometimes I feel like that's a good thing. Um, I think it's a good thing to care about people. I think that shows a lot on like my character. So I do like the fact that I'm empathetic, but on the flip side of that, I feel negative emotion very strongly too. Like if somebody yells at me, I'll cry. I'm also very scared of like upsetting people or hurting people because I feel like they're gonna get mad or yell at me or <laughs> if I think there's a pattern here. But I do really, really like the fact that I'm empathetic because I feel like it allows me to connect with people on a deeper level and that's something that I feel like has always been put on my heart to connect with people and to help people um, and so I do really really like the fact that I'm empathetic I just wish it didn't come with the negative side of that that's okay 
we keep it back there and we just focus on the fact that it's a good thing. And that's all for this q and I really hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you got to know me a little bit better. Uh, like I said, let me know in the comments what your favorite thing is about yourself. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe to my channel and give this video a thumbs up. I post videos every single Thursday and I hope to see you next week. I'm put up with changes. Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light. I wanna be weightless. Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down. Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna